Hello and welcome back to their channel and welcome back to the Bridgeton Goodwill Outlet. It is right outside St. Louis. It's technically in Missouri. The I meant to put those stupid stamps back, but they they filtered to the bottom of my cart. So I bought a bunch of stamps and hole punches and I totally forgot about it, which is one of the downfalls of the bins. As things will do. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I also ended up with like four professional harmonicas that way too. So I have professional harmonicas. And did you know they come in keys? This was really cool, but it was so heavy. It's a wooden train. And I couldn't tell if it was handmade or not, but it was just so heavy. I thought it was one of those old Avon ones. Yeah. Uh, I do end up picking up the vintage. Those are both vintage Hallmark wrapping papers. Those are worth about $30 together. Maybe around 15 a piece. Which I think my thrush... Oh, I do pick up those uh, grapes later on. There is fake grapes down there. And I just like went by that. But... Um, 10 or 15 for paper. That's fantastic. Right. Well, and I think our threshold for both of us is right around like the $15. We're like, eh, if we can make $15 off of this, we'll pick it up. There was, yeah. Oh, I picked this up. This is Erin Condren, who is a bougie planner brand, like super bougie. I also picked this up for myself, but the, the paper that I just picked up was um, worth way more than I thought it would be. And it's like a specific wrapping paper that's discontinued. But because she's a bougie planner brand, I I guess. I don't know. Oh, uh, these are the things I just pull out. I pull the... So I pull these curlers out because it's super heavy. And I it was missing some anyway. So I wouldn't be able to sell it as a set. So I do end up pulling those individual curlers out. I grab this because it's vintage cards. The I'm second guessing myself. I'm like, do I get the curlers? Do I not get the curlers? This game is dumped everywhere. The um, maybe I get them on the second pass, but I do end up picking up the curlers. I thought that was really a Starbucks cup. It was not a Starbucks cup. It was a knockoff Starbucks cup. The um, I don't. Even, there was a lot of baby stuff. Like you see the formula carrier. You see. I should have picked up the Jack Daniels too, or at least looked at it to see if the box was worth anything, but there was a dent on it. So I, I put that back, but it was super light. Stamps, the stamps that float to the bottom of the cart, unfortunately. Oh, I did pass by the curlers. I must have hit them again on my second pass or maybe in the afternoon. I don't even know what these are. I always try to grab anything that's new in box, anything that has tags on it. Again, $15 is our threshold where, oh, these stupid, um, you've already seen my husband's video of this day and of the morning, the, and he passed by the fondue pot. This is me going by the fondue pot. Oh, we've also bought the biscuit cutter cause it's pampered chef. That stupid freaking pond fondue pot. I stab myself with a fondue fork pretty ridiculously and I didn't stab myself by sticking it in the box. There's one like floating around in the bin and I just jabbed it into my hand, which is probably like great. And maybe I should need shots for that. And that maybe is why you should wear. I also pick up those gloves. They're not worth anything, the boxing gloves. That's probably why you should wear gloves in the bins. But I, I need to feel things. That's how I found out the bear was worth so much. I felt the bear and I was able to tell right away that it was made of expensive stuff it was I, you can tell it's like that's a bougie bear that's a really expensive bear more water bottles lots and lots of water bottles the and you start to know what brands are worth a lot when you have to keep replacing your kids water bottles lots of garbage bags laundry baskets i don't even know what that is just so much stuff lots of, i mean if you needed pans or something this would be the best way for it that was a vitamix and i questioned if it would have been lighter if they would have been weighed differently like everything else was i would have picked it up but it wasn't so i didn't i don't even know what this is epicurious pan i wonder if that was worth anything oh it probably was <laughs> i've been on the website for recipes i'm pretty sure really i had no idea shark bite that might have been worth something too Shh. <laughs> i said it might be the i should have grabbed that one too I always love seeing all the little stuff on the bottom of the bins. I do grab this bag. One, I use it because these bins don't have bags. But two, it is a vintage Gitano bag. 
And so that's like from the late 80s, early 90s. And look, it's an up close view because I'm short and trying to reach the other side of the bed. The, maybe I should wear the glasses and my husband should wear the chest mount because you're just kidding, Ben. But it also kind of tells you how up close and personal I get with the contents of the bin just to reach things. So. And sanitizer is your friend. Yeah. I probably needed face, san face sanitizer, hair sanitizer. Yeah. Hey, look, I'm all up. Like, I literally nosedive into these bins. And the from the first day, my video, you saw me, like, bite it and fall into the bin. So it was fun. Now, a lot of the stuff I know I picked up later on, I guess maybe I picked it up in the afternoon because I'm not picking it up in this video. And if I pick it up in the afternoon, that means they don't switch out the inventory that much. I'm constantly looking for a Revere wear because I know it's worth money. So I'll look at the bottom. So again, I'm missing things that might not be worth anything. I'm looking at sunglasses. I picked up a Tupperware vintage Tupperware measuring cup. I I have some of those loose already that I'm waiting to lot up, so I will lot all of them together. I would not sell like one half a cup by itself, but I do have others to lot up. I'm looking at these silicone molds because we make bath bombs. I do pick up the Febreze wax because I'm a sucker for wax melt. And they're actually really good. Like I buy like the really cheap Walmart matte wax melt. And the Febreze ones lasted for like three days. So, you know, Febreze, if you want to sponsor me. And stuff like that is always gross. Like shower loofahs and... It's, yeah. I don't even know what that is. I should have picked it up. I'm pretty sure it's Tupperware. And I put it back down. The Murphys did not want their lunchbox anymore. NRA. There we go. Again, a lot of things that have monograms, but now that I know I can take them off fairly easily, it may not, I don't think I would sell, again, I don't think I would sell a monogram, one that I had taken off, but for my own personal use. There's a microwave. Who the crap is going to buy a microwave by weight? I don't know what I just put in the cart. I put that in to look it up, but it doesn't have a battery back, so I was fairly certain it wasn't going to be worth anything. Hey, look, it's the Hero Realm cards. Ooh, more to the collection. Yeah. And I think I picked that up, too. That's a dryer or um, oven cord, so it's a, it's a heavy appliance cord. And it's new. Someone ordered it on Amazon. I don't even know why I'm collecting these cards. Apparently, they're absolutely completely worthless, and it's hilarious, but at least I do pick that up. Canon charger because we have an elf camera, a Canon elf that I don't have a charger for that we picked up at a previous bins. So it'd be nice to have a charger for it. More Hero Realm cards. Again, I don't know why I'm digging for these. Oh, hand sanitizer. Hmm. Winning. The, I don't know what that is. I think it was a tarp. It was something I was not interested in. And again, a freaking microwave. <laughs> that being said, I probably should have opened it up and taken the plate out of it because, you know, parts. Hmm. The. Uh, and more, again, more Hero Realm cards. Uh, they're worthless. They didn't weigh anything, thank God. But I do have a quite a collection of them by the time this. And another microwave. We have two printers, a microwave. Oh, I broke a fingernail. Stereo speakers, a coffee maker, another coffee maker, another coffee maker, a big freaking lamp, like a carpet. It's a lots and lots of big items. If you're not like really strong or very agile or able to move this stuff, it could be difficult. And I probably would avoid the bins with big things in them, but almost every bin had a lot of larger items. And you see, I didn't even move the carpet. I just walked right by it. I knew I wasn't going to be able to move it without, oh, those are the patterns too. Those are iron on embroidery patterns. And then when you wash it, they wash away. Family fun, charades. This is not a vintage game. It looks vintage, but it's not vintage. 
we have like I have some slight PTSD when it comes to posters, so I don't even <laughs> look at the posters. There was an epic Pretty Woman poster thing, and the so look, I'm back. I'm back to the curlers, and I'm taking the curlers out. But the whole other side is empty, so I'm not, like, taking out perfectly functioning curlers. Someone took the other side out, or they're missing, but I do take those curlers. They're Vidal Sassoon curlers, and they're from the early 90s. So the... And I may, I may, honestly, I made sure to get that on camera, so I didn't forget that they're a Vidal Sassoon, because there's nothing on the curlers to state what they are. So I guess thank you for making me, you know, for having me make this video. This Thomas, I was thought like, are there any trains in it? I did look it up. It's not worth anything. But some of the Thomas to train stuff is, especially if it was only produced very limitedly. The, this thing, this bear down there talked to me the whole time and it was terrifying. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. Like, if it's in bags, if it's in bubble wrap, if it's in boxes, that bear was like ridiculous. And you're welcome for not having that sound on. But it was like talking the whole time. Crib. Sides of cribs were there. I don't know if you came across any of these bins that had like the big cribs and everything in it and carpet. I think and gates, yeah. And gates. The I checked that to see if it's a vintage caboodle. It's not. I felt like this guy felt like I was pushing him. I wasn't. I didn't care. Is that a bowl jar with a handle? Yeah, but I didn't want to, like, snatch it. <laughs> I didn't want to be like, hey, get out of my way, sir. Uh, it is pretty busy still right now. And you can kind of tell here how busy it is. I am in a yeah. bottleneck. The And it's hard to get around that. Um, but... And nobody was like super like jerky about it. Just a lot of people refused to move. So you had to be the first person to back down. If you didn't back down. Hey, look, there's those cookbooks you threw back. Um, if you didn't back down, then it became, it was a battle of wills. And most of the time it wasn't worth it for me. So I just backed down and reversed and went through. This is like a weird drum thing. And I was looking at it, trying to figure out what it was. But it's like... I don't know. It's like a practice drum, I guess. More water bottles. The This is not the mother load. I hit like a bin that had a bunch of water bottles and I'm assuming somebody put those back. The where let's See, I think this is when I start picking up the embroidery thread because the lady that I just passed seemed really familiar. Any water bottle I pick up, ah, any water bottle I pick up, I always look on the inside to make sure that it's, you know, not disgusting. So far, they were all decent. Uh, a lot of little kid toys. Beanie Babies. There was a lot of Beanie Babies, too. The I have, like, a weird sentimental attachment to those seahorses. These are the baby patterns, and I find vintage doll patterns. This I would have picked up, but they are completely and totally corroded, all of them. And there was probably four or five of them, but they were all completely corroded. And I can't sell something that's corroded. The, I don't even. Tree. Oh, yeah. I wish I would have picked that up because it's Tupperware and it's a color. We have one that's tan and I'm assuming if it's a color, it would sell better. I just didn't pick it up. Like, I just was like. I was so focused. That dude's worth something, too. I wish I would have went back and got him the stupid singing deer head. Mm, I didn't even see that. He's, like, worth a lot. He's, like, the Billy Bass fish thing where people program them to say whatever they want. I could see that. So he's worth a lot. But thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe and have a productive day.